annoyed with those unwanted telemarketing calls and messages are promotional emails bothering you here's a video about unsolicited commercial advertisements and it's important for you to know your preferences and controls in the digital age advertisements are communicated through two important modes and they are through telecommunication services or through emails and the unsolicited advertisements that you receive through such telecommunication services are called unsolicited commercial communications or ucc and those you receive through emails are known as unsolicited commercial emails or what is commonly known as spams Unsolicited commercial communications are governed under the Telecom Commercial Communications Customer Preference Regulations 2018 which is brought out by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Commercial communication is defined as any voice call or message using a telecommunication service wherein the purpose would be to inform about or advertise or solicit business of sale of goods or services or any investment opportunity an unsolicited commercial communication is a communication that is neither as per consent or as per registered preferences of the recipient but ucc does not include a transaction voice call or message for instance a call from an online shopping company regarding a purchase that you have recently made or service message or voice call or a message or voice call transmitted on the directions of the government or even a message or voice call transmitted on the directions of any authority or its agency according to the regulations it is the responsibility of every access provider who could be your basic telephone service provider cellular mobile service provider to create an ecosystem that regulates delivery of commercial communications according to the customer preferences Every access provider is required to establish a customer preference registration facility on 24 bar 7 basis. You may call or send an SMS to 1909 which is the national do not disturb number if you wish to block unsolicited commercial communications. This number also gives you the option to activate deactivate or even register a complaint regarding a commercial communication apart from calling or sending an sms to 1909 you do also have other options like interactive voice response system mobile app developed by trey or even web portals with authentication through otp or any other process the regulations also gives you a preference of categories of commercial communications that you wish to receive such as banking financial products real estate education tourism and leisure food and beverage health etc you also have preferences in terms of time bands and days for receiving such commercial communications or even to fully block such communications such preferences recorded or modified by the subscriber should be given effect in real time and the subscriber should not be receiving such communications after 24 hours of giving his or her preferences and if the advertiser should continue with such communications the access provider issues a warning in the first instance imposes a usage cap for 6 months in the second instance and in the third instance the advertiser is blacklisted for 2 years
unsolicited commercial emails are those where the recipient may not have explicitly consented to receive such communications. Though there is no specific legislation in India regulating unsolicited commercial emails, but it may attract provisions of the Information Technology Act if it contains anything that is obscene or sexually explicit. Spams may attract you with dubious ventures or may contain sexually explicit material. It may also contain harmful embedded code or a hostile file attachment which may corrupt your system. It may consume significant portion of email traffic, network bandwidth or storage space. Tip number one. The next time you see an unsolicited email, don't just delete it, but take a moment to unsubscribe it. Tip number two, be aware of the company or app that you share your email with. Clicking on any link inside could lead to a malware attack on your device and expose your private information. Tip number three, don't forget to log out of your email or social media account before you leave the site. Cookies may keep a tab on your browsing tendencies to send you those targeted advertisements. Tip number four, choose private browsing such as Go Incognito while accessing your personal accounts in public places and using public Wi-Fi. And tip number five, Install the latest and most trusted antivirus software on your device. Some malicious spams may tend to invade your privacy and steal your personal data. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hey, don't forget to press the notification bell to be notified about our forthcoming video.